Hey there friends, on today's quick tutorial video, we are gonna be connecting this blue Yeti to our MacBook. It's actually a super simple process. Let's do it right now. Okay, so as you can see, this is a used blue Yeti, but the process will obviously work for any new uh, Yetis or these blue microphones that you may have picked up. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and get it all set up. Okay, so inside the packaging, you find a couple of things. First, we've got a micro USB cable. Uh, again, this is an older mic, so as you can see, it's a little bit older connection. This is gonna go on the bottom of the microphone. And then this USB is going to plug into one of the USB ports on our Mac. Now, if you have a newer Mac, you may have the lightning ports or the USB-C ports that are on the side. And in that event, you will need an adapter. Now again, because this is a used uh, microphone, we actually don't have the pegs, the threaded pegs that go through here and into this part of the mic to keep it elevated. But regardless, we are going to be able to still run through the connection process and we'll just leave it standing like this. So basically to connect the mic directly to our laptop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look on the bottom. And as you can see over here on the left, this is where our USB port is gonna go into. This also is what is going to give our microphone power. So this USB port will also act as kind of the power source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this end of our cable into the bottom of our mic. And then after that gets plugged in, we can take our USB side of our cable. I'm just gonna plug it into this side of our MacBook Air is what we are using. Now, as soon as I plug this in, as you can see, we've got a red power light that comes on on the front of this microphone right here on the mute light. You can see I can kind of push that back and forth and that will basically utilize the mute function. We also have the volume function down here that we can mess with on the mic, but as you can see, it is now getting power. Now switching the mic to the back side, you can see we have a couple more knobs. This is gonna be our gain, and it's just gonna basically allow for the volume function to get even louder. It's going to be a lot more sensitive, basically, to the amount of noise that the microphone is able to pick up. We also have a recording pattern, and these patterns are actually really nice because this has multiple settings within the microphone configuration for the Yeti. All of those configurations are on the box over here. I'm just gonna let you take a look at this. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see what all of these different patterns are best utilized for. Okay, we're back over here on my Mac now. You're looking at a screen capture. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure the computer has recognized that Yeti microphone. So what I've done is I've opened up my system preferences. To do that, you can come down here to the bottom and usually find it with this gear icon. You also can look in your launch pad or your apps. Again, look for system preferences. Once we have system preferences pulled up, we're gonna click on sound. And this is going to bring up a couple of different options for us. We've got sound effects, we don't really need that. We've got output. And this is going to show where we want the output of what we're recording to come out of. You can see the Yeti stereo microphone has already been recognized. I haven't done any kind of software updates or anything like that because it is a very popular microphone. All the drivers are usually able to install very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do right now is keep this on headphones. That's where I want to hear the output. And then let's go over here and on input. And as you can see right now, I am getting sound as I'm talking that's coming through my external microphone. Basically what we wanna do is switch that to the Yeti stereo microphone. I'm gonna click on this, and basically that is allowing us to record directly into the Yeti. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button. Okay, now that we're back in our system preferences, everything is saved, good to go. Let's go ahead and close that out, and we'll open up GarageBand. Okay, so as you can see, I have opened GarageBand. Now again, if you don't have this, you can go to the App Store and download it for free if you have a Mac. And basically, when you open it up for the first time, it'll ask if you want to do a new project. Let's go ahead and do a new empty project. I'm gonna choose that. Now, as you can see, there's some presets here that we can choose from. We can do a software instrument, we can do an audio recording. This is what I'm gonna use. Let's just pretend we're wanting to do a podcast or something like that. There's obviously some other additions you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And then we're gonna come down here to the input. Now, again, we can be on input one. What we wanna do is come down to these little options. You can see this little arrow right here. So my instrument is connected with built-in microphone is what it's using currently. Let's go ahead and click this little arrow. 
It's gonna bring us up some preferences. As you can see, our output device, we've got the built-in output. That's where my headphones are plugged in right now is to the computer, so I'm gonna keep that. Input device, right now it's the built-in microphone. I wanna switch this to the Yeti. So as you can see, when I click down on those arrows, Yeti stereo microphone is an option. And then we can go ahead and click this off here and let's click create. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting some input already over here on audio one. That is where our microphone is gonna be. Let's go ahead and click on this guy. And then if we come down here, obviously you can see the input is on the Yeti microphone. So yes, we are recording with that Yeti. Now this is a stereo microphone, meaning there's two inputs that can receive recording at the same time. And so we actually have some noise impedance on this channel. I'm gonna to need to do some troubleshooting, but as you can see, we got a great recording down here. So the Yeti is working at this time. Again, this is actually a very plug and play instrument. Plug it in, your Mac, if you're using a Mac, should recognize it. Open up a GarageBand session, and then make sure your input is set to that Yeti. That's about it, friends. Hopefully this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Stay tuned, we're making a bunch more tutorial videos. Those will be coming out really, really soon. Subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one.